There are many classic cars in Ireland, and there are plenty of shows you can go to see these classic cars. But at these shows, the cars that stand out the most, to me at least, are the cars that come from the US. Not only do they have more cylinders due to their V8 engines, they also produce an excellent sound. But parked next to a European classic, or modern car even, they look like they're from a different planet. In this film, we meet with Dermot Maloney and his car, a 1980 Pontiac Trans Am Firebird. We ask him about the car, its history, how he came to own it, and what it's like to drive and own such a car. Well, I was always into cars, and um, I suppose from the vintage and classic point of view. And in 2009, um, I had a sports Ford Cougar for sale. It had a 3.5 litre engine in it, engine was chipped in it, it had a nitrous gas system in it. It was the only one of its type in the south of Ireland, there were three of them in Northern Ireland. And I could not get rid of it because I only had young guys looking for it and it would have been irresponsible of me to sell them the car. So my wife suggested um, why not try and advertise for a swap for the classic car. And that's what I did. And this guy in Galway came on to me and he agreed to take my car in part exchange. And I bought a Trans Am of him. So I got it really by accident if you like. I always had a huge interest in American cars with large engines in them. This one is a 4.9 litre engine. It came from Santa Rosa in New Mexico. And it, it was in a museum in Route 66. It was in a museum for 25 years. Uh, and the, the man that had it had 11 of them in the museum. And he died and his wife sought off all the cars. There was only 9,500 miles in it when I got it. So the car that he more or less just run in and it was in perfect condition. The car has never been touched, it is all original. There is a, a, a roll bar cage in it which is very unusual and the chrome wire wheels are unusual. I haven't come across it in any other Trans Am. I had four Capris in my time. I think it's a large version of a Capri. The Capri was also an American design. My car was designed by John DeLorean. He was the chief engineer with General Motors at the time in the States. And then he became the chief executive of Pontiac Division of the company, but he designed it. Well, trucks is fairly powerful to drive it. You particularly notice it when you're braking because it's trying to pull away from you. No, I'm not a fast driver. I don't pass 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers. That's my limit. It's good on fuel. It's doing 30 to 32 on the motorway on a long run. As a lot of the American V8s are doing that, the V8 engines, um, which people find are surprising, but it's doing better than many modern cars. So uh, I don't really test it. Although I was coming down from an American car show in Kilbegan a couple of years ago, and I was doing 80 miles an hour, and I did not realize it. So I pulled back very fast. But driving at 80 was the same as driving at 60. You wouldn't notice the difference. But like I say, 60 is my limit. I'm a slow driver. I just love everything about it. The power of it and the look of it and an extremely attractive car, I think. Um, people are always drawn to it, and um, particularly young guys, they want me to open up the engine all the time, or the bonnet all the time, or the hood as the Americans call it, to have a look at the engine. But um, yeah, it is a very attractive car, yeah. Very nice sound as well. It has a lovely sound, yeah. It really has um, a real V8 sound, yeah, yeah. Many people admire the sound. The um, American car show in Cork, I suppose there were 60 cars, we all went into the Jack Lynch tunnel and stopped and revved them. It was like serious thunder. 
just stopped for a few minutes and held up all the traffic and the tunnel was full of American cars. It's a bit of a bog, I suppose. I suppose the vintage scene is a bit of a bog. I buy them all going round to vintage shows from star various stall holders. I got most of them, I suppose, again in Kilbegan at the American Car Show, and there's also an American Car Show in Cork, the club down there. And then the American Cars, they have a large size 118. Large, that size. And most of the dinky cars as well. well I've begun to show us for, I suppose, eight months a year, um, every Sunday. We generally go Clare, Limerick, Galway, Tipperary. Clare Vintage and Classic Club, yeah. yeah. My longest runs will be Kilbegan and Cork for the two American shows. But again, because of the clubs, they are in Cork and Kilbegan, all right. And um, there's a good no, no car I have at Pontiac Trans Am. There's a good few of them around in those two areas. I come across them. But, um, I suppose because of the American clubs that draw them in, you know, so... Oh, this is my thing now, since 2010, it's been on the road. And, um... I can see myself, myself giving it to my son eventually. 